Now I will show the steps to install the TDM GCs. First, I'm going to Google the TDM GCs, and the first link is for the official TDM GCs website. Let's click the first one. The current latest release is 9.2.0. Let's click the link to download. In this download website, we will see the three different options for the TDM GCS installer. The second one is for the 64-bit GCS compiler and we will go with this one. After the completion of the download, just double-click the file and run the install program. Let's click the first option create and then we are going to install the 64-bit the MinGW. It takes a couple of minutes and then we are going to click the next. Now we've successfully installed the TDM GCs. I'm going to check it out in the Windows command line tool. Press the Windows key and R and then type CMD. In this command line tool, just to type the commands, the where G++ and G++ option version. In my case, I've also installed MinGW, thus there are two G++ commands in the list. If you just install the TDM GCs, you can see only just one G++ command in the TDM GCs directory. So I have two G++ commands, and I wanted to change the path variable so as to use the TDM GCs as a default value. I'm going to run the system application for changing the path variable. In the taskbar, just type the path and then we can find the control panel and then click it. Click the environment variables and then click the path in the system variables and then click the edit. The last line must be the path for the TDM GCs in this window. I'm going to move up this path and then make it placed in the front of MinGW. Let's run again the command line tool and then check the command G++ option version. Ok great, now TDM GCs is successfully installed and we can run C++ and G++ command in our Windows system.